Hi everyone, and welcome back to some more Modern Darkest Dungeon. So, this time we are going to do the wise and hug to get it out of the way, and there's also a very useful abomination item in here, which will significantly reduce the stress damage the group takes from transformation. So, that's almost a must have for an abomination. And our group is going to be Saladin the Skull Taker, that's a leper, Grey Wolf, Houndmaster, Devilish Occultist, and the Jester, who's now named Handlebard. I upgraded their gear, so let's get started, shall we? Now, this isn't really an ideal group for the hug, but it's the best one I got currently. I should be able to handle it. I suppose we'll find out. Yeah, let's just take two full stacks of food, obviously torches, and I guess that will do. That should be fine. All right, let's go then. There is okay, so let's check out the layout. Looks like she's going to be all the way over there. All right, let's get moving then. Now, this fight might actually be fairly tough with this group, but I'm pretty sure I will be able to handle it. Hopefully without any deaths. <laughs> That's the goal, at least. First, let's actually get there to begin with. I did give the Houndmaster the item we picked up that will increase his chance to stun with a blackjack. So that is actually pretty nice. Plus 25% stun skill chance. It will reduce his speed, but that's alright. That's not really a big deal. And I got extra accuracy on the leper. Because they can usually use the accuracy. Looks like the acolyte is basically dead. Now I'm a little bit light on healing. But hopefully Devalish will be enough. Hopefully we won't get too unlucky <laughs> with Occultist skills. The plan is to kill the Hag as quickly as we can. I do have some pretty good damage in this group. But again, let's actually get there first. And then we'll worry about killing her. I do have a self-heal on the Leper. So he can always use that if it ends up being really needed. Right, let's finish off this guy first. And we get plus 8 accuracy from the trinket. Also slightly more stress damage, but that doesn't really matter too much. Alright then, first group out of the way. I'll take all that, thanks. 1000 for the sapphire. Some deeds. Trinkets and baubles. And once I'm done with this, I'll probably focus on getting some more portraits, because I really need more portraits right now. But let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet. I'm keeping the dog treats for the boss, obviously. Another blockade, okay. Well, we are down to one shovel. Hopefully, there won't be too many more blockades. That uses anti-venom. Yeah, that's not too bad, but I already got full inventory. Well, I could just pass on the bust. Yeah, I'm going to pass on that for now. Because I might need everything else I currently have in my inventory. That looks empty. Oh, a secret room! Nice! Okay, and I do have a skeleton key. We should get something nice from that room. One fight on the way. Yeah, yeah, just keep moving, it's fine. In you go. Okay, that looks fine. Oh, I didn't bring holy water. I think this uses holy water. I'm pretty sure it does. Well, that's fine. Abyssal artillery. To hit their artillery. That should probably be the priority. Hey, nice dodge. So, right, shop. Fairly critical, nice. That's what I like to see. He didn't even leave a corpse. We killed him so hard. What's the stun resist here? 25% stun resist. Well, we can stun it. There we go. 
that's basically a guaranteed stun right there. And let's buff ourselves. I should probably move the Jester, actually. He should be where Devalish is, in fact. Because then he can use his bleed attacks. Yep. Now, Devalish can still use Abyssal Artillery from all the way in the back. He can't use Sacrificial Stab, but I could switch that to Vulnerability Hex, for example. Perhaps. Anyway, let's buff ourselves. And just stab it. Come on, people, let's go. One more stun, sure. That's basically a guaranteed stun. It will have 145% base. That's why I wanted that item. It's nice to have a stun with such a high chance. Okay then, how's our stress? Looks fine. Yeah, I definitely need to swap the Jester with the Occultist. First, let's actually kill them, because I can't do that in mid-combat. Here, have a bleed. Is that enough? No, one damage off. The artillery will get one more attack and that's it. Escape Cloud, okay. Whatever. Not quite sure where it wants to escape, but that's not happening. Yeah, let's just remove all the stress here. There, zero stress on Devalish. Done. As the enemy right, full inventory. Well, I suppose I could camp right here. Fine, let's just camp right now. And then I can loot it. I think we can prevent an item ambush. Oh, he doesn't have that ability, okay. But Devalish does. We'll get slightly more stress, but that's alright. And some self buffs. Do we have any? Yes, we do. Plus 10 accuracy, plus 8% crit. Let's give that to Grey Wolf. Like so. What else? Yeah, plus 10 accuracy, plus 8% crit for the leper. I definitely want that. No need to reduce stress. Looks like that's all that's actually useful at the moment. Here, have a buff. No, I do not want to abandon hope. In radiance, may we find victory. Right, I'm pretty sure I need holy water for this. I don't remember what it does without holy water. Oh. Okay. I think that actually removes stress. <laughs> But we barely have any. Let's go check out that secret room. We surprised them. Nice. So first, the Fusilier. Oh, I was going to switch... Right. Handlebar and the Devalish. Maybe after this fight then. I mean, it's not like Handlebar is useless. He can buff ourselves. And he can give us stress uh, reduction. Let's make them all bleed. Executed. There we go. It's not a huge bleed, but it's on every single one of them. Obliterated. How many more rooms? Two more rooms before the boss. Hopefully we'll get to keep our buffs. I can do two more fights without losing these buffs. Not counting the one we are doing currently. So... Yeah, let's just use a buff here. There we go. It is a pretty nice one. I don't even need healing at the moment. Okay. Hey, that's not very nice. Maybe now we should use a heal. Just kill them. I can also heal myself with the food. Right before we engage the boss. That's definitely what I'll be doing. Are we there yet? Any day now. Oh, he's basically dead. Yep, so let's do a little bit of healing. 30 critical heal, nice. I didn't quite need a heal that huge, but okay, thanks. I won't say no to that. He can still heal himself from that bleed. Done. 
we got the blood. I don't quite need that and also I don't have inventory space for that. Uh, let's switch Devalish and Handlebard. And then we can switch Sacrificial Stab to Vulnerability Hex. Yep. And not switching anything on the Jester. More gold. This requires a bandage, which I actually happen to have. 500 gold. Yep. Not bad. This room has a fight. Oh, I should have checked the treasure room. Let's just kill the spiders first. I only have one key. We will not be using the key on this chest. That would be really bad. They will all go first, won't they? No, they won't. Almost enough to kill one, but not quite. Yeah, the spiders are fairly annoying. One down. Come on. We should probably do a little bit of extra healing here. Yeah, especially with that blight. I can remove it though. Yeah, might as well. I might not get a chance to use anti-venom for anything else, so we'll just remove it with that. And that's that. Uh, almost. No status effect on that spider. I kind of want to do some healing. Oh sure, now we healed for two. Instead of 30. And I'll probably take more. Uh, now we resisted the blight. Let's remove some stress. Zero stress. And done. Okay, another skeleton key. Well then, I can actually do both. Okay. But let's go check that secret room first. I will probably have to destroy something in my inventory. Unfortunately. Yeah, if I want to take all that, I'll have to destroy something. Well, I guess I could destroy some crests. Maybe the jade, because that's not a lot of money. Maybe the bandage. I can use the other skeleton key. Maybe the crests? I do have a lot of crests. Okay, fine. There. That's going to be a fair bit of money. Now I can still use the other skeleton key. Might as well do that. There. Oh, nice! A jester item! Well then, I will definitely use that right away. Minus 25% stress damage received if torch above 25, plus 15% received if torch below 51, and plus 20% stress healing done. This is an amazing item for a jester. Almost a must-have for a jester when you need him for stress healing. Alright, let's move on to the boss. There might still be some fights on the way. Okay, holy water. I really don't have the inventory space for that. Let's just use it. And that's going to be the last shovel I got. Hopefully we won't run into more blockades. Scouting. Okay, there are two more fights on the way. Fine. Hopefully they won't be too bad. We can use this as an opportunity to heal ourselves. Yeah, this is easy. And we surprise them. I could probably kill them like before they get a chance to react. Nice! 26 critical heal. What's his chance to crit right now? 7%. Yeah, that is pretty decent, actually. 50% stun resist. We got 145% base. Might as well stun one. That's, what, 95% chance to stun it, basically. Uh, 5 stress. Just buff ourselves. Kill this one. And I can get one more heal off. Maybe on the Houndmaster. Yep. Might as well reduce stress to zero. I wanted the Devilish to go first. Okay then. 
Hey, another stun. Nice. Let's not kill it just yet. I want one more heal. So, one more heal. I'll take it. We resisted the bleed. Nice. So, we got full health now. Now we can kill it. And no more stress left to heal. And then we got one more fight before the boss. So, unfortunately, I will lose the buffs. Which is disappointing, but oh well. We should be able to handle the boss regardless. With or without the buffs. Alright, let's use the bleed here. That's a perfect target for that. And harvest. That should kill both the spiders. Or... yeah, it will. Nice. Just... oh yeah, I don't have sacrificial stab anymore. <laughs> and they both dodged. They do have 15 dodge, which is pretty high for a level 1 dungeon. Resisted the blight, nice one. Executed with I think we can get one more heal off. But I would prefer to not leave the spider alive. Okay, one more heal off. That will heal the village back to full. Will we get a chance to kill the spider before it goes? Yes. Done. And no more skeleton keys, unfortunately. I'll pass on the crests. Might as well open it. I guess that was pretty useless. So, boss fight is next. I can't get rid of that blight, I'm afraid. But I can heal him back to full. Oh, one more fight in the corridor. Okay, and we got surprised. Seriously? That's pretty annoying. That is very annoying. Fine. Let's mark the Acolyte. And I'll have to move around. We got the leper all the way in the back, which is the worst possible spot. Oh, never mind, he's getting po- Really now? I was going to say he's getting pulled, but he had to resist that one. Out of all the times he can resist something, he had to resist something that actually helps him. Great. Yeah, now he will have like two or three wasted turns, which is really annoying. Oh well, let's kill the madman because that's the priority target here. This is actually a pretty annoying group for an unexpected corridor group. But oh well. I still have a fair bit of food. I'm keeping the dog treats for the boss, in case that wasn't obvious. Okay, nice one. That's enough bleed. No, that's not enough bleed. Right. Well, I can do one damage, and then the bleed will finish off the Acolyte, so whatever works. I would normally not use that ability for damage, but, I mean, I only needed one damage. Okay, move forward. He can attack on the next turn, and make himself useful. Kill that stupid madman. That will do. And then the Scratchers. And maybe heal ourselves a little. Should probably move Devalish to the back now. We got rid of the Madman. He can still heal while he's in the front. That's one of the benefits of the Occultist. He can heal while being in the front. I think that bleed will do the trick. Yep, 7 damage. We are almost done. The boss is definitely next after this. Unless there's like one more surprise fight in the last section of this corridor. That's fairly unlikely. <laughs> Not impossible, but unlikely. Are we there yet? Yeah, let's just remove the stress from the Houndmaster. One more heal. Uh, not a huge one, but that will do. Oh sure, now we get 20 critical damage. Yeah, sorry, no inventory space. Let's go kill the boss, shall we? This requires medicinal herbs, and I actually happen to have them. Food. That's useful. Okay. So first, full torch. 
then we'll heal ourselves. There's no reason not to. And it looks like that's that. That's that. So, moment of truth. Let's do this. This could be an annoying fight. Fortunately, she only has 20% bleed resist, so my plan is to stack bleeds on her. That should work quite nicely. We could also debuff her dodge. She only has 5, but I mean, I can still use vulnerability hex. Yeah, might as well. Nothing else right now is actually useful for me, other than abyssal artillery. So might as well just use mark on her. There it is. And we removed the only dodge she had. She will throw our leper into the pot. Well, the cauldron only has 14 health, so we should probably get rid of it. But oh, I can't use Hound Rush right now. Right. Can we stun? I can try to stun her. She has 100% stun resist, so we'll have 45% chance to stun her. That's actually not so bad. I'm considering doing that. Let's try, why the heck not? No, she resisted. Well, you tried. I kind of needed Leper for this. Because he can do the most direct damage. He would be good at doing damage to the pot. But alas. Okay, let's hit the pot while hitting the boss with a bleed. I need 11 more damage. Yeah, this is actually really suboptimal right now. I could try to retreat and switch some of my skills around. Wait, will he die? If I retreat? I might have to just wait for him to go down to zero and then heal him up. I think that will be the best right now. I was hoping somebody else will get thrown in, but alas. Okay, let's do a little bit of damage here. I would need 11 more on the cauldron. Hopefully he won't die from like the first the damage. I can however still hit the pot with harvest. If we get lucky, maybe we'll crit it. Now, there's not much point using dog treats, because I need to be able to use his primary ability, which I can't do when he's in the front. I could move the Jester to the front instead, which I'm almost considering. But then I wouldn't be able to use Harvest or Slice Off. I just really need the Leper in the front. Or a Devilish. He would be fine in the front, except I swapped out Sacrificial Stab. Let's try a stun again. No, I was really hoping that will land, because that would be really helpful. So Slice Off will do up to 6 damage. Not quite enough. Here, but the bleed is stacking up nicely. 3 damage. Right, I can't do that with the Devilish, unfortunately. Oh well. Let's actually heal up a little bit. Okay, yeah, so now he will go down to zero and he will come outside. Oh, great. Now, oh, we dodged. Nice. Perfect. Okay, okay, hold on. Now we can use dog treats. Now I need to heal him before he dies, which hopefully we can do. Okay, just don't kill my guy, thank you very much. He survived. Let's focus on the boss. The boss is basically almost dead. Don't do zero heal. Please. There we go, 13. Could have been bad if we did zero. And then put a bleed on him, and then he died from the bleed. Because that can certainly happen. We basically won now. The boss is basically dead at this point. Yeah, so this was not exactly the most optimal group against this, but whatever, we did it. That's what matters. Let's get the heck out of here. And we got the padlock. That will make the abomination 
way more useful. That item is like almost a must-have for the Abomination, I think. So I'm really glad I got it. And we got 15,000 gold, as well as the gold from the quest reward. Alright, what did we get here? Obsessed with material things, plus 4 maximum health, minus 4 maximum health, and spiritual. Oh, that is actually nice for an occultist. Back to the hamlet, another exorcist. I don't think I need more exorcists. Then again, I don't have room on the roster. Wait, do we only have one? No, we have more than one. I'm pretty sure we have more than one. No, we actually have one! Okay, fine, we'll grab him. Let's check the stagecoach really quick. Leopard, succubus, grave robber, duchess. Okay, hold on. We only have one succubus, right? That's falconer. I still need to test the falconer. Yes, we only have one succubus. I definitely want another one. And we only have one duchess, right? Or two? We got two. I mean, I could still grab her. I will grab the grave robber. I do not have a grave robber yet. And I suppose we could grab a second leper. I'm not sure if I can get my roster to be big enough to have two of every class, but that's the general goal. Where the heck is that leper? Yeah, let's get one more leper. And I can always just kick out the Duchess. I have been dismissing some level 0 characters that I haven't used and don't need. Mostly ones that I had no gold invested into. Anyway, so now I kind of really need more portraits. And also, let's remove that disease. Because I would like to upgrade the blacksmith. Uh, I mean, not the blacksmith, the guild. Right here, we need 15 portraits to be able to upgrade skills to rank 3. And right now I got 8. We can, however, upgrade the blacksmith right now. No, we can't. We need the deeds. So I guess we'll go after deeds next, most likely. Which characters are close to level 3? I need one more level 3 character. A few are pretty close. Uh, Geralt is currently removing his disease. But a few people are close. Well, anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't. And subscribe for more videos just like this one. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.